the winner, our new Miss America, Miss Texas. For generations, thousands of young girls have flocked to the TV to watch the crowning of Miss America. To most, it's just a beauty pageant, a showcase of swimsuits and detailed dresses. But each delicately placed lace and carefully chosen color means something to the women of Miss America and can make all the difference to the judges, something Dr. Marion Ann Montgomery has dedicated the past 30 years of her life to researching. Miss America has to be a brand representative, but she also is a bit of a, a bit of a, a tomboy, or she's a bit of a unusual. She stands out. She has a personality, which is such something you just can't measure. You just have to see it in person with her. Miss America. For the 2022 spring semester at Texas Tech, Mary and Ann gathered garments from the likes of Miss America 1933 and Miss America 1967, creating the world's largest collection of Miss America memorabilia. And though nothing lasts forever, the items on loan had to be returned. Marion's research lives on in her book, Miss America Fashion. It's interesting to take those colors, and as I do in the book, and say, okay, here are the top colors worn at the pageant, and here's what the symbolism is. Where Miss America 47 said to me when she gave us her evening gown and her competition wardrobe, she said, people have written about us, but they haven't gotten to know us. Get to know us. And so for the dissertation, which is part of this book, every woman who was still alive either talked to me on the phone or sent me a survey form about what she wore, why she wore it, how she picked it out, where it came from, um, and her experience with her wardrobe. So it's really very informed by the women themselves. Poised, smart, and well-spoken. Some think Miss America is the representative for American women. For sure, it's the world's most glamorous job interview. And what each contestant wears on stage says a lot about how they would wear the crown, something that has fascinated Mary and Anne since she was a little girl. And so we want to talk about um, Shirley Cawthorn's dress. This beautiful white sort of fairy princess dress here was worn by the last Miss America from Texas, Shirley Cawthorn. As the years go on, the fashion trends of Miss America will no doubt change. But one thing will stay certain. Mary and Anne will never stop sharing the history of women through the clothing that they wear. Um, my next project here is going to be Rodeo Ladies. We have a number of 19th century side saddle outfits, beautiful, gorgeous things that women had to wear when they were riding side saddle. Women's fashion, women's history as they're seen through their quilts and through their clothing is important to me because a lot of women do not leave written records behind. They don't leave nearly as many written records as the men do. And so this is a way to really flesh out what their lives were like and to talk about them. We've come a long way, haven't we? Yes, and we have a ways to go. <laughs>